The forest covering the giant island of Sumatra represents one of the motors that drives the Indonesian economy. Providing the raw material for industry, foreign exchange from exports and generating millions of jobs. These forests have served the nation well for generations. These forests play another equally important role. They are home to an uncountable number of wildlife species. Their lives fully depend on the existence and preservation of the rainforest. Some species are so rare and stay so well concealed that they even remain unknown to science. But one endangered species is hard to miss. The elephant embodies the majesty of the rainforest. Regarded in local folk tradition as the king of the forest lands, the elephant was once the undisputed master of the Sumatran wilderness. In recent decades, however, the elephant has seen his domain shrink to just a few remaining patches of native rainforest. Changing markets and economic priorities have determined that the ancient forests must give up their place in the Sumatran landscape. Driven by a booming global demand for palm oil and biofuels, millions of hectares of native rainforest are being cleared and converted into monoculture plantations. As their former grazing territories disappear, hunger forces elephants to forage closer to farms and near villages. What they do not eat, they temple into the ground. To protect their crops and property, farmers will shoot a trespassing elephant on site. On most plantations, it is official policy to poison elephants and other intruding wildlife. The death of an elephant is a far greater tragedy than the poisoning of bothersome vermin. As a mythology, where the untimely passing of a good king foretells impending disaster, the killing of elephants augurs the environmental catastrophe of vanishing rainforest. Tropical rainforests play a critical role in maintaining an environment conducive to human life, both locally and globally. Millions of species interact and live in harmony, each making a unique and vital contribution to the continuous cycle of life. A healthy rainforest serves many purposes. The dense network of tree roots anchor the soil and regulate water supply, preventing wet season flooding and landslides in the adjacent lowlands. The vast carpet of foliage absorbs sunlight and humidifies the air, tempering the local climate. Rapidly growing vegetation sequesters enormous amounts of atmospheric carbon dioxide contributing to the reduction of global warming. This complex system grows in a vast area. 
The fertile layer of ground is very thin because nutrients and droppings are absorbed directly into the ground. Like a fast-turning engine, minor interference can have serious effects. When forest is cleared for a plantation, this finely tuned system collapses in ruin with disastrous consequences for the entire region. The choking haze from clearing fires is only the first of many misfortunes. The local climate grows hotter and drier. No longer held in check by the dense system of tree roots, water from monsoon rains sweeps towards the sea, bringing floods and landslides to the lowlands. Global temperatures increase by another increment as millions of tons of carbon dioxide is released into the atmosphere. The changes in their local environment initially affect the most vulnerable Indonesians, the farmers. The villagers who shoot hungry elephants trampling their farms and gardens are only trying to protect their last dwindling source of livelihood. As the balanced and harmonious ecosystem of the tropical forests disappear, the quality of their lives diminishes drastically. With fewer forest products to harvest for their own use or for sale, villagers suffer both a reduction in income and in quality of life. Their land that once flourished with crops dries up with the higher temperatures and the unreliable rainfall. Irrigation is not a solution. Plantation crops require large quantities of water. The relatively small amount that seeps into the groundwater for use by nearby smallholders is loaded with toxic byproducts of fertilizers and pesticides. River and well water is often unfit for irrigation, let alone human consumption. The only hope for the elephants and the people of Sumatra is to halt the unregulated destruction of the rainforest. The first step is to foster a greater awareness of the economic and environmental value of the native tropical rainforest. One possible method is to follow an ancient tradition with a modern twist. Some of the elephants found near inhabited areas are captured and placed in a refuge facility. Each elephant is paired with a mahout, a handler. Teaching the elephant to obey about 20 commands, the mahout can direct his elephant to perform various tasks. In the past, elephants were the preferred transportation of kings and warriors. Now, tourists can enjoy the commanding view of sitting atop an elephant as they are escorted through the forest and into villages. Such ecotourism attractions can bring immediate economic benefits. The tourism industry is noted for its multiplier effects. Each dollar, euro or yen spent by tourists generates many times its value in local economic activity. Frequent contact between villagers and foreign visitors increases awareness of global markets for natural forest products. Selling products to visitors is often the first step to directly marketing products abroad at premium prices. If supported by awareness-raising programs among local residents, ecotourism can foster appreciation for the natural environment, as well as develop the skills required for sustainable utilization of forest resources. 
Of course, ecotourism cannot exist without enough protected land to support viable tropical rainforests. Once destroyed, a forest cannot be restored. Only time, possibly millions of years, can recreate the astounding biodiversity needed for a functioning tropical rainforest. Halting unregulated conversion of native rainforest to monoculture plantations does not mean choosing environmental protection over economic growth. The choice is between sustainable utilization of natural resources or wholesale destruction of the national heritage. With sufficient awareness of the true value of the forest, this heritage can serve the needs of both the economy and the environment. Sumatra's elephants can lead the way in this endeavor. Heirs to a rich culture, steeped in sophisticated art and rituals, Indonesians respond well to these powerful symbols. Hundreds of years ago, Indian merchants worshipped the god Ganesha, a god attributed with powers of wisdom and the ability to deal with problems. In modern Indonesia, the elephant can be employed to symbolize the wise choice of conserving the remaining forests. And in doing so, the elephant can reclaim his rightful place as king of the Sumatran rainforest.